when it's just you. Well, times can be tough. Hey guys and gals, it's Chris again with Multi Tank Addiction, where we're feeding the addiction one tank at a time through education and inspiration. Speaking of inspiration, I had a little something here I wanted you guys to see. Super, super stoked about this uh, because this is the first viable fry that they've had in probably six months. Although they've been trying and trying and trying, they have not been very successful up until recently. So, there's approximately 50 of the fry left swimming about the parents in the tank. The parents, the rock keel for instance, very specifically the rock keel, um, is very aware of my presence in the fish room. And I am at least 10 feet away from that tank, but he is very aware that I am standing here staring at him with this camera and he don't like it. Now when I get closer, when I do my feedings in, in, in the evenings, um, they really go wild. But as of right now, he, he only darts and he does the occasional head shimmy and shake to let me know, hey, I don't want you here. These are my babies. And I'll show you. Because what will happen is they'll do a twitch when I stand upright. Oop, look at this. Tilt the camera up a little bit. There you go. They really don't like me being in this fish room right now. And that's fine because, to be frank, it's too hot in here. <laughs> it's 91 today on a southern facing garage. The door is cracked ever so slightly so that the, some of the, the heat can get can escape. I'm going to try and zoom back a little bit. This is on my ultra ultra macro lens so like I said I'm about six feet away from the tank and that's zoomed all the way out. Let's see what we can see if I zoom in. Find my glasses real quick first. Nothing's in focus anymore. The messed up thing is that this is all loose. Just kind of camera just doesn't like me right now. There we go. Follow that one little fry for as little as long as we can. So these guys are going to be interesting to see when they grow up. I don't know what they're going to be. Sorry about all the shakiness. Let's move it back to this. You can see the baby feeding on the rock. I don't put special foods in the tank to feed these guys. I feed the parents. The parents are messy. They chew up the food and spit out bits of it for the babies to be able to eat. And uh, then there's mulm and other stuff throughout the entire tank because this is a well-established tank. So the babies have lots of stuff to eat. It's just I'm not feeding them specifically. Uh, I never have, never will when it comes to fry. It's just, I figure they, they should be able to maintain themselves and 
and grow off of what's growing in the tank for them. Try to keep the tanks as natural as they can just for that reason. So I, I hope you guys enjoyed this little up close and personal with some of these fry. I, like I said, I don't know what they're going to be. I don't know if they're going to be rock heels or if they're going to be golden severum or if they're going to be their base gene, which is the green severum. That could very much be the case. So we guess we'll all find out when they start to produce color on their, on their bodies and they start to get that very distinctive and beautiful severum shape to them. So just remember guys and gals, we're feeding the addiction one tank at a time through education and inspiration. I hope you have a wonderful day. Don't forget, tomorrow is Tuesday and it's Fish Art Tuesday, the once a month art auction. I am going to be doing it every month, probably on the second or third Tuesday. I don't, I don't know exactly which one yet, but I'm going to be doing it every month uh, for the foreseeable future. Um, be sure to check it out, 5 p.m. Pacific time. There should be a link in the description. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye now.